Tonight, we've got 10 tips that are gonna help you have a more effective website and make big money in 2016. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Tonight we're going to look at some tips. I've got 10 for you guys. These are things that I've compiled as I've been looking at websites. A lot of guys send me their links and say, hey, check out my website, give me some feedback. And gang, I see some things on their websites and I wanna share some of the things I've witnessed here in the last uh, year, year and a half, well, longer than that, but some things that you need to, if you're beginning, if you're just starting out in the DJ industry and you're just getting your web presence going, these are the things that you need to know and you need to not do if you wanna be effective and professional in your website. Here we go, tip number one. First thing is you need to have a real hosting a hosting program. You need to be hosting through GoDaddy or someone like that instead of having, and I'm gonna use my company throughout this uh, video so that way there won't be any anybody getting upset. You can't have DJ John Young dot freewebhosting.com because people are going to look at that domain name and they're going to see the ads at the bottom of my, my web page that are put on there by free, freewebhosting.com. They're going to know that that's just not a professional look at all from my company and they're going to really judge me on that and many will bounce and be gone. So do not use free web hosting. If you need to go and you know, like practice designing a website, have at it. But when it comes to having a real business website, buy your domain name and get the right hosting so you look like a professional. Tip number two kind of ties into that. Tip number two is to get a real email address. Don't be djjohnyoung at gmail.com or djjohnyoung at aol.com. Go and get john at djjohnyoung.com or johnyoung at djjohnyoung.com. Get your name with your domain name and make it so it looks like a professional real email address instead of the Gmail or use those. Keep those because you're going to need those when you're signing up for different things. But when it comes to your business correspondence with email when you're doing for brides or for corporate, use a real email address. Tip number three, take off words like best and favorite and most popular and, uh, and the greatest DJ ever. Take that garbage, throw it the heck away. Because you know what? Everyone else in your market has the same garbage on your website. Not everyone, but most of them do. We all did it at one time. We were all stupid. We were all naive. Take that, the best DJ, because you're not. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm very good at what I do. And I tell you what, there's probably 10 guys outside right now that are much better than me, that are a lot younger than me. I'm not the best. I'm good at what I do. I'm not the best. And if I'm not the best, you're probably not the best either, especially if you're just starting out. Take that stuff off. Don't talk about that kind of garbage. Talk about what you can do for experiences. And we'll talk about that in other videos, but just take that garbage off your website. Another thing to take off from the website, tip number four, is take off all the, I specialize in weddings and, and corporate events and bars and school dances and anniversaries and reunions. I specialize in all of these. No, you don't. No one does. I'm really good again at what I do and I can't specialize in all of those. I can do some of them really well. Some of them I can just, my marginal and some of them I just really suck at. You're the same way. Find which ones you're good at, stick with those, specialize. And when you generalize like that, you're not doing anyone. You're not, you're, you're basically that jack of all trades and master of none. It's not even that good. You're not even a jack of all trades. Really, you're just adequate in a few areas, okay in a couple of other areas, and probably good in one. Now, if you take all that effort and just focus on maybe two areas, you'll be much better and you will be someone that people will come looking after. So don't be a jack of all trades. Get that stuff off your website. Tip number five is you need to have pictures of your entertainers on your website. It just floors me the number of DJs out there who do not have pictures of any of their staff members. The pictures that they have on their website are showing a beautiful bride and groom, or they're showing my gear, or they're showing people dancing, which are okay. I mean, that's great if you're a photographer and you want to show a beautiful bride and groom, but you know what? Besides me seeing a happy bride and groom, I really don't care to see, see your gear for one thing. I might, you know, as a bride or a groom, I want results. And I also want to see who I'm working with. You know, to see who I'm working with, you know, real estate agents figure this out. That's why you see their pictures on billboards as you're going down the street. You, you, you know, you've got insurance people. They figured this out. Again, pictures, bankers have figured this, jewelers have figured this out. Why can't DJs figure this out? We need to have our pictures out there because we're entertainers. We are selling us, so you need to have it out there. If you don't, you're doing yourself a horrible disservice. If you're one of those guys who just doesn't want to put your picture up there, why don't you just take and put a picture of a new iPod on your website? Put your information, put that new iPod because that's going to catch more in interest than many of those other things you're already putting on there because at least people would look and say, ooh, what's that? I, which one is that? Is that the new one? Ooh, maybe an iPhone. 
tip number six when it comes to your websites, have a female look at your website and get her perspective on the look of it. DJs design websites for DJs. We think that something that's cool, and we think about it through our DJ mind, especially male DJs, that's what we're designing websites. Oh, look at all this gear, look at all this. Oh man, look at this black, this is just awesome. I'm sure brides are gonna love this. No, no, no. Find a female to give you a perspective on what your website is, you know, how it's looking and, and how it really fits into that, that demographic because we can't be a good judge of that. Now, if I'm a female DJ, I might have a really good grasp of this and you are so far ahead of us as male DJs that I'm jealous. But guys, don't be afraid to ask a female friend, a spouse, someone you don't even know on the street, you know, run up to them with your, your iPad. Hey, look at my web. No, maybe that's a bad idea. Tip seven, a lot of you have blogs, and of course they talk about blogs being great for SEO, which it helps and it makes Mr. Google happy if you're creating your own content, da 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 da, da. Don't use your blog as a chance to complain about other vendors. Don't complain about the industry. Don't complain about rates. Don't complain about lack of respect. Don't complain on your blog if you've got one. If you're gonna go do that kind of crap, it's gonna come through and that's like a poison that you're gonna be putting on your website and people are going to pick up on that. They're going to be like, I don't wanna be doing de dealing with this person. Especially a lot of you who are out there and you're putting these 10 tips of what not to do with the, you know, for your wedding, the DJ thing, where you're trying to really make you look good and trying to make all the other DJs in your market look bad. If you're doing that kind of crap, Crap, people will sniff that out and they will know that basically you're one of those types and they're going to keep way away. Anything you put in your blog, make sure it's helpful information for them that isn't really steering them to you. But maybe maybe on your blog you're going to have, hey, here's a tip for how to connect better with your mother, mother-in-law at your wedding dance. Now that would be something of useful to a lot of people. Not, you know, hey, how to pick the best DJ who looks exactly like me. Tip number eight, this is one that a lot of us do, and even on my sites, I catch myself with this. Look for the typos. There's gonna be typos out there, you know, as we're typing in and autocorrect will fix things. There are typos in your website. Look for those, fix those. When you're done with the page before you publish it, publish it have someone else look at it, step back for a few hours or a day or two, come back to it, check for typos. Typos just really are a bad reflection on everything you do. So again, try to find those. And we try to find those with the things that we do. Sometimes we're successful, sometimes not so much, but just strive to catch the typos. Tip number nine, when it comes to putting reviews on your website, you've heard that's very good, and it is, Video reviews are king. If you can get video reviews of past clients, you've got gold. Taking a video review and creating a transcript from that, so you have the video and you have a transcript, is even better. Now, a lot of you are just putting text reviews. You know, hey, John, thanks for the great party, and signed bride, November you know, 2014. In this day and age, clients are people, the people who are looking at this stuff are really suspect when they see that because they know how easy those things are. I mean, anyway, can make that crap up. Text reviews, pretty much worthless. Even if they're over on the not in those different places, pretty much worth, worthless. They have a little bit more precedent over there than they do on your website, but video is number one. If you can't do a video, if you can even catch an audio on your cell phone once in a while, that will have, have a lot of effect because people can sometimes, by just listening, they can imagine how excited the bride and groom are instead of actually seeing how haggard they are and how drunk they are. You know, sometimes a clean audio is worth more than the video. So think video first, Audio second for reviews, and as a you know worst case scenario, you can put some text on there, but again, assume that those are gonna basically be thrown out because they know that those can be faked. Tip number 10 for our websites for beginning DJs is to have a consistent branding and logo and name and everything throughout the pages and continuing on even to other areas. I've been to websites where you start out and it's a black a black page with one logo. You go in a page and here's a different logo and then th and there's a different name a slightly different name in a logo. You know, one was uh, you know DJ John Young and the next one is uh, DJ Johnny and the next one is DJ John Entertainment and it's like, well, what the heck is this? We're ta still talking wedding things as we're going through but they're different each time. That makes no sense, and it's really showing off a really poor or lack of professionalism in what you're doing. Be consistent, same logo, same color scheme, same fonts, continuing that through your website, then going over to your social media, continuing it over into social media, then continuing on to your business cards. If you've got a truck or a trailer and you're gonna do the thing with that, continuing it there so you have a consistent look from one end to the other, because that's going to speak professional, having a consistent look. If you're all over the board, yeah, your business is just gonna not come to you, my friend. Mm -mm. Well, gang, that is our 10 tips for this week. Hopefully there's some things in here that'll help you a little bit. If you have been in this business as long as I have, and you've seen a lot of websites from other DJs and there are things that make you just go, Ugh! it's like the fingernails on a chalkboard. 
share those with me down in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you guys are seeing because you know what? There's a lot of things that other DJs need to hear and if they can read those in the comments from you. You're going to help the next generation of DJs. So anything that just, just stands out, comment section down below experienced DJs would really appreciate it. If this is your first time watching one of our tips, so we come out with these every Tuesday, click that subscribe button down below me here. That will get you on our list so whenever one of our videos hits, whether it's a Rewind Report or Tuesday Tip or Bill and Jason Show or any of the gear from any of the shows, when those videos hits, you're going to find out on your YouTube YouTube feed and such. So please click that subscribe button down below. We'd really appreciate it because you know we, we want to bring this educational content to you and help you grow your business. Once again, thank you for watching. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News and Disc Jockey News TV. If I were you, I'd hit the subscribe button before I hit the video. But don't mess things up. Wanna know why? Because I'm